Hey there, Garden and Gurry. Welcome back to another episode. You've asked, and we've answered. Today, we're diving into whether your fertilizer mix gets watered down over time. Before we start showering our plants with love, let's check the fertilizer solution's concentration with our trusty tester to make sure we're on point. And there we have it, folks to 327 ppm. That's our baseline, our starting concentration. Now, let's see if it holds up as we water our way through the garden. So, I've been at this for a bit, and the bottle's got about 350 milliliters of solution left. Let's see how our fertilizer concentration is holding up. After a good watering session, our fertilizer concentration is at 360 ppm. That's some consistent nourishment for our plants. More flowers, more love. And about 230 milliliters of solution remaining. The concentration reads 350 ppm. Looking good, but is it consistent? After running the experiment, we've got numbers 327, 367, and 350 ppm. A little variation, but nothing to write home about. This means our fertilizer release is pretty even. So no, you're not starting off strong and ending weak. Wrapping up today's experiment, we've learned that concentration doesn't take a nosedive during the fertilizing process. Whether you're on low or high dials, it's all about even distribution. That's a wrap for today's experiment. Got questions or comments about fertilizing? Drop them in the comments below. And if you like this, give it a thumbs up. See you next time for more Gardening Gold.